So, guys, this headline says Okoma residents go to court, slam 200 billion naira suits against the Nigerian army. Nigerians, it is getting hotter. I mean, this case is getting hotter. So, guys, this was an emotional moment. This is the traditional ruler of Okoma community. We all know the community that the army invaded. So, look at the man. He's one of the people that were declared wanted. So, he came out openly to the public to say that he was surprised his name was among those that were being declared wanted. So he finally turned himself over to the police and the Nigerian police handed him over to the Nigerian military. And since then, he has been held in their custody. So this was the moment he was released after one of the senators from his area, you know, shorted his release. So guys, I'm going to allow you to listen to what the military said. I believe finally they are regretting their action because as it stands now, this man appears to be innocent and one keeps wondering why the military did not allow proper investigation to be done before they start picking people up. So I'm going to allow you to listen to what this spokesperson for the military said, you know, why he's being released and why he was held and all that. So just take your time and take a look at this video so that you understand what played out during this occasion. Take a look. Uh, Royal Highness is at this moment confirming his items are uh, items with which he came into custody with an impact. Let me begin by first and foremost recognizing the presence in our midst uh, this morning of distinguished Senator Ede Dafinone, uh, Senator representing the Hunter Centre, and of course. Uh, his darling wife, I'm not forgetting other members of his entourage who are here this morning. I would equally like to uh, respectfully acknowledge um, His Royal Highness Clement Ikoro Ogenero Kero, a king of Ewo Kingdom uh, in Delta State. I haven't said that, my name is uh, Major General Oyema Wanchukwu, I'm Director, I'm in Public Relations. And um, on behalf of the Chief of Army Staff, I'd like to welcome you, distinguished Senator, members of your entourage, and of course, not forgetting your spouse to this all important um, event. I would equally like to welcome members of the press. They've been with us since yesterday, um, for the past three days, uh, since we began the Chief of Army Staff uh, First Quarter Conference. I thank you for your resilience. I haven't said that. We all know why we're here this morning. It's about uh, uh, His Royal Highness, who voluntarily, voluntarily, I made him safe available uh, when we declared uh, some people wanted, some suspects wanted, in the course of that unfortunate incident that led to the loss of life of uh, 17 personnel of the Nigerian Army. Having said that, I will proceed with this um, press briefing. Following the gruesome and reprehensible killing of 17 Nigerian Army personnel in the Okuama community of Delta State on 14 March 2024, a manhunt was launched for those suspected to have perpetrated, directed, supported, or knew about the incident with a view to bringing those culpable to justice. In this light, His Royal Highness Clement Ikolo Ogenerukewe, the King of Ewu Kingdom of Delta State, in whose domain the dastardly acts took place, surrendered to the Nigerian police, who in turn handed him over to the Nigerian army. Since his surrender, the Nigerian army has painstakingly reviewed every available information on the incident and has come to some preliminary observations and inferences, one of which is that while culpability has not been conclusively established against the traditional ruler, there is insufficient evidence to exonerate anyone at this stage. Nevertheless, on the intervention 
of distinguished Senator Dafinone, representing Dental Central, and he is vouching for the monarch's character and the fact that the monarch voluntarily turned himself in for questioning. It has been decided that His Highness be released to the distinguished senator who has agreed to act as shorty for his release on the condition that he will always assist the Nigerian army and other agencies of government investigating the Okwama killing incident to have access to the monarch whenever needed. The Nigerian army therefore hereby releases the Honorable His Royal Highness Clement Ikolo Ogarenrukewe to the King of Ewu Kingdom to distinguished Senator Tafinoni representing Delta Central as a responsible national political figure. Members of the public and the international community are to note that the release of the traditional ruler speaks to Nigerian army's commitment to upholding the rule of law and justice. The Nigerian army, therefore, wishes to, by this gesture, encourage others to make themselves available for questioning and that they are guaranteed their fair and decent treatment and will be strictly subjected to constitutional provisions for handling such cases if found culpable. Thank you for your attention. So it's my honor to now formally hand over. Um, first of all, I want to thank God Almighty for his mercies, his grace, and strength which has put in me. Um, I want to also thank my lovely wife, Her Royal Majesty, Ugonwa Blessing Awuneme Ikolo, and she, she is truly awesome, and I thank God for giving her to me. And in no particular order, I also want to thank Senator Ede Dafinone. It's been amazing. It's been amazing. The support he gave is really, West cannot, cannot state, uh, say anything about it. I have, I'm short of words to talk about his support. And also, Senator uh, Ned Wonko, who came uh, with Ede Dafinone to see me at the center where I was. I want to thank my uncle, Dr. Ebenezer Okorodudu, who is here today. He's been awesome. He's been amazing. He, uh, are no, I really don't have words also because he's put in so much and he's, he's stood so fair. My younger brother, who is also here, Daphne Austin Nicolo, I also want to thank him. And so many people out there. The, the, the governor of Delta State, uh, His Excellency, uh, the Sheriff of Rewori, I want to thank him as well. Thank his Chief of Staff, Honorable Prince Erijo, Chief Ms. Samyoku. There's so many, so many people out there who has um, supported me in this course. And uh, also, um, I would also like to thank Honorable White there. He was very supportive as well at the time, and I believe he's still supportive up till this very moment. And Senator Onoako as well. And the entire Senate of Nigeria, the House of Rep, um, the Army, the Army, I really want to thank the Army, especially the facility where I was. The commanding officer was amazing. 
you know, and the people there, the service they gave was, was, was really good. They looked after me, you know, and uh, they did so well. I also want to thank uh, the, the, um, the intelligence, the, the, the Nigerian Army Intelligence Corps, um, the, the chief of the Intelligence Corps, I want to thank him. You know, for all the um, for looking after me and all what they have done so far. So I just want to say this to all Nigerians as well, the press, everybody out there who has been very supportive. I just want to give them thanks at the very moment and say, uh, God is awesome. And I also want to thank, particularly the traditional rulers of Delta State for their immense support. You know, and I was told I was I was I was really surprised. As I was surprised, this the, the support they gave was astounding. It was astounding. I want to thank them, and I want to thank the Urubu Progressive Union for their support as well. Thank you. Um, the president of UPU. S. Egan, I want to thank him. And I also want to thank the Egurubo people for the support they have given as well. Uh, we say thank God, and my prayer is that all those who have committed this heinous crime be brought to book to the glory of God. Thank you. Thank you, Most Highly. Of our King of Ewu, ladies and gentlemen of the press, I think the King has said thank you to so many people. Uh, there may be one or two he has missed out. Uh, I want to assure him again that there were very, very many Urubu sons and daughters that supported uh, him in this trying time uh, with prayers and with uh, lobby to ensure that his issues were kept on the front burner. I'd like to, just by way of emphasis, to thank the Nigerian military for the professional way they have handled this matter. Uh, it's a difficult matter to have handled the uh, gruesome murder of 17 officers and men uh, requires and continues to require the detailed investigation that is being carried out. Uh, but I would like to emphasize that uh, the king has been treated in a professional manner. Access to medicine, uh, Bible, and other comforts are made available. Uh, lastly, uh, I'd like to formally state that as the general mentioned earlier, the king is being handed over to my care and I will of course make him available should they require any further interaction with him to assist with the investigations. Thank you all very much. So guys, you have seen it that the military really needs to be professional. Honestly, they need to be professional. Most times, you know, when things like this happen, especially in the southern part of Nigeria, they swift into action without, you know, following the proper procedure. We have seen in many cases where, you know, the bad guys in the north, they're the military. But most times, nobody goes after them because they know that the repercussion might be heavy. And uh, yeah, you have seen it for yourself that the military appears to be regretting their action because uh, they would have allowed investigation, proper investigation to be done before picking this man up. So that is it for this video. You can imagine the psychological damage that has been done to this man, you know, for being held for things he never knew anything about. So looking at the whole scenario, you will come to terms with me that possibly the Nigerian military is regretting their action for holding this man for days now without letting him go. Let me know what you have to say about this in the comment section below. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Thank you.